I seem to have a particular talent when it comes to spending money and wasting time. And that's something that applies to my business just as much as it does to my personal life. So when I find a tool that can save me both time and money doing things that I do every day in my business, I get pretty excited. Writer Zen is a tool that is currently on AppSumo for a one-time fee of just $69. Now, I've seen a lot of these AppSumo deals over the years, but I've got to say, this is hands down my favorite SEO tool that I've seen on there for the last two or three years. Think keyword research and finding low competition keywords. Think topic clusters, content planning, and it even has a plagiarism tool built in. And then start to think how this tool might be able to replace three or more of your paid monthly tools. I bought this tool for myself this week and for once I don't feel like I've actually wasted my money. This is the real deal. And available at the price that it is, it feels like a bit of a steal. So I'm going to explain all in this Writer Zen review, but before we do that, if at any point you do want to buy the tool, then I have left a link, it's an affiliate link in the description down below and in the pinned comment. So if you do use that link, it's not gonna cost you any more, but I will be very grateful for you for using it. Let's dig in. So once you've bought the tool, you are greeted by this dashboard. And the first thing the tool does is actually take you through a onboarding process that's designed for beginner, intermediate, or advanced users. So it's fair to say that this tool really is built and designed for a range of users from, like I say, beginner all the way through to more advanced. Now, I would classify myself as an advanced user, and I've been through the first couple of steps in the onboarding process, which involves a few quite detailed videos that kind of explain the, the premise of the tool, how it works, why it works, and, and actually shows you how to use the tool as well. There are four kind of key areas to the tool. The, the first and probably the most impressive for me being the topic discovery tool. So I'm going to demonstrate that in a second. We then have the content creator tool, which allows you to create content briefs, and there is even a, an AI element to it as well. And then we have the Keyword Explorer. And then a nice little touch is this plagiarism checker, which essentially replaces the need for tools such as Copyscape, which is something that I pay for at the moment. And typically I'll spend about $10 every three months or so. When you buy this through the AppSumo plan, or even if you're buying it direct through Writer Zen, you will get monthly limits. Now I just bought the, the basic one code plan through AppSumo, which gave me 50 keyword lookups per day and 50 topic discovery lookups per day, which I've got to say is a, a pretty decent amount. 50 per day, I'm probably never going to go past that. Keyword Explorer is probably where you're going to use more of your credits and I'll kind of explain to you how that works in a second as well. The plagiarism checker, you've got plenty. You get 25,000 words per day to be checked. If you compare that with Copyscape, it's just astronomical. You're probably never going to go past that unless you really are churning out a lot of content and have a lot of writers. And then you get AI words per month as well. Obviously, it's not necessarily going to replace tools like Jasper, but if you want to dabble with AI content without going all in on Jasper, then 5,000 words a month is still a decent place to start. So let's take a look at the topic, topic discovery tool. And I've, I've run a few through here already, but let's say, for example, we want to look at, let's try something like pet rabbits. And what, this to, what the tool is going to do now, it's going to go through the top 100 websites that are listed in Google around the topic of pet rabbits, and it's going to find topics that those websites include that feed into the main topic of pet rabbits. Now, if we were to do this by hand, this would take hours, hours and hours of literally trawling through the top 100 URLs, looking at what bits of content different websites have feeding into that main topic and then writing lists and compiling lists. I, I, I can't really 
even put a number on it in terms of how much time I think this, this tool alone can save you. And the data that you get from it is absolutely solid. We can look at this by relevancy. So if you need more topic ideas, you can change this out to widely. If you want less, you can change it to closely matched. I tend to stick with medium. And then we can order it by relevance or we can order it by search volume. So let's look at it by search volume. And we can see here that let's say we've got a, a main piece of content that is trying to rank for pet rabbits. Now, this will actually give us the exact titles of the top ranking websites here. It will also give us insights from Google. It will break it down into questions, prepositions, and comparisons. So you can see already you're starting to get ideas for content or for ideas that you can build into your content. But it's these topic clusters here for me that really show the, the true value of this tool because what we can start to do is again we can have this as our main topic and then we can have all of these feeding into it so you know giant rabbits mini lop rabbits how to care for rabbits uh, rabbit pet rabbit shots so vaccinations things about whether you should keep pet rabbits indoors out rab outdoor rabbits in cold weather whether they can eat fruit, eat lettuce, sleep in the dark. You know, I mean, you can see there are so many topics here that you can then have that then feed into your, your main topic. And if we click on this tool here, we can actually see this kind of in action, really. And this is, again, if you were to build this out yourself, it would take so long. But you can see here that you've got your, your central topic and then you would have all these supporting pieces of content and have these interlinking into your pet rabbit page. The other thing that I think is important to point out with WriterZen is that the user interface is actually incredibly easy to use. So that's the topic discovery tool. Like I say, it's, it's really simple to use. Let's take a look at the keyword explorer. So let's actually take this pet rabbits keyword and let's put that into the keyword explorer. We can select whatever country we want and then you can choose the language and this is where the real value comes in. We can switch on this golden filter. Now this will burn through more of your keyword credits but this is where the real value comes in because what this is going to do is identify those low hanging fruits and if you think about uh, the keyword golden ratio that other youtubers talk about then this is this is absolute gold it really is so let's take a look and you can see how quick that brought that up so we've got a lot of data here the first thing we've got is we've got the top 10 overview in the serps and it's currently pulling through the data related to these. It gives us the search volume. It even gives us the trend. So we can see the trend here over the last few months and what that's looking like. Then we have all of the keywords that are linked to pet rabbits. And this is where we can find, and we can see this data still pulling through. There's a lot of data for it to find. In total, all of the keywords it found, it's saying that there's a total search volume of 1.7 million. So there's, there's plenty there to be had. And we can see here that we get this data on the, on the SERP overview, which I think is really, really useful. Because if we switch on the textbook mode, it will actually tell us what these things mean. So this is how many backlinks the page has, referring domains, the domain rating, the organic traffic for that page and the organic keywords for that page. If you like the look of this tool so far, I'd really appreciate it if you could bop that like button for me because it'll let me know that you like it and it will help this video to spread to more people so more people can benefit from this fantastic tool. 
Now, if you're not subscribed, I'd also consider subscribing, particularly if you are going to be using Writer Zen, because I am going to be putting out some more deeper dive tutorials around this tool over the next few weeks. So in total, that took about five minutes to complete. Obviously, there was, there's a lot of keywords that it's had to go through there, but the data you get from this is phenomenal. Essentially, what it's doing is it's looking at the keyword. It's then looking at how many URLs have the keyword in the title. And then it's giving you the keyword golden score based on that. So what I like to do here, or what I have been doing, is filtering the the data down so I will look at a golden score and I can look at cert position of top 10 so this is by ranking probability and we can look at it by value if you want but I, this is the way I like to do it and it's identifying seven, almost 1700 keywords here with a total search volume of 92,000 that have a low golden score which is going to allow you to rank easily or more easily for these and then what we can do is we can also filter the, the volume so let's say we, we only want to look at keywords that have got more than a hundred searches per month and then that's filtered those out and then we can look at it in terms of keyword volume or we can look at it in terms of the golden score and look for the easiest keywords first. So let's, let's look at some of these keywords. You've got bunnies with floppy ears. So there's, according to this, and again, it gives you all of this data. You can see the trend. You can see who's actually in the SERPs for these results. You, we, we already know that there's only two there's only two websites that have the, this directly in the URL. Lifespan of pet rabbits. There's a lot of near me keywords. But what we can do, we can exclude the word near. So we can apply that and we've taken that out. So, and this is what I'm talking about. The, the user interface is really, really simple. Do rabbits eat tomatoes? That's a thousand searches per month. Do foxes eat rabbits? A thousand searches per month. So hopefully you get the idea. And that's not something that I've done in, in advance, by the way. That's something that I've just gone in and, and had a play around with it. And I'm getting all that data at my fingertips. If you are someone who is fairly new to SEO or fairly new to affiliate marketing and blogging and you've got a relatively young website and you're looking to build that traffic, then using this method is a fantastic way of doing it because theoretically you shouldn't need a huge amount of backlinks and a huge amount of authority. What you do need though is you need those topic clusters and you need access to a tool like this to be able to identify those low competition, higher search volume keywords, because what you're going to be able to do then is really build a sense of an authority on the topic or the niche, because you're writing in those topic clusters and they're all interlinking and it's establishing your website as an authority plus the fact that you're targeting keywords that are lower competition, so you should be finding it easier to rank for. Now, just to compare this to uh, another tool, if I take this keyword, do rabbits eat tomatoes, I'm just gonna pop that into Google, and actually keywords everywhere is also telling me that it gets a thousand searches per month. And if I take a look at the, the competition here, the first thing I can see is there's only 1.5 million results returned for that keyword. Now that might sound like a lot, but typically we tend to see this in the, the 40s, 50s, 60s, hundreds of millions of results. So 1.5 million results is not a lot. Now we can see that there's a featured snippet up at the top here, which is from a DA46 site. But then these, we've got a DA31, a DA29, a DA22, a DA7, a DA21, and a DA27, and a DA8, all ranking on page one for that keyword. 
Now this isn't a test that I've planned in advance. That's the first keyword that I've just decided to throw in and the data just from Google on page one and the, the DA data that I'm managing to look at through SERPworks, is, is all, it all stacks up. So it really does look like the tool works well and will help to identify those low competition keywords. I really like it. Now I've just thrown the keyword into Ahrefs and again it's telling us it's an easy keyword. It also backs up that 1000 searches per month. You get the idea of the traffic potential because it's not just going to be that one specific keyword of course there's going to be other keywords associated with it. And again we can look at the SERPs here We've got websites with a DR2, a DR15, a DR12. So again, everything stacks up. I really do think WriterZen is incredible at what it does. Now, I've not showed you the full capabilities there. I've not really looked at the content planning or the AI writing part of it, but I don't think that is quite as solid as the keyword research and the topic clustering part of the tool. And to be honest, that's where the value lies for me anyway within this tool. It's so good at that part of what it does. That yes, it probably needs a little bit of fine tuning, but that's what you get when you buy into these AppSumo type deals. But Writer Zen is actually fairly well established already. A lot of the, the tweaks that needed to be made and the bugs that were there have already been ironed out and you will get access to all the future updates when you buy that AppSumo deal. Now, this might be one of those tools where in years to come, you look back, if you don't get it today and say, why didn't I get it? I should have, I should have bought the tool. And I think for me, it's probably going to be something that I will use at least on a weekly basis. And for the next few weeks, I'll probably be using it on a daily basis as I plan content for my various websites. Will it replace tools like Ahrefs? For me, probably no, because I do like all the, the backlink data and the competitor research and analysis that I can do in Ahrefs. But as far as keyword research goes, I think it probably will replace that part of the tool for me. So if you're still watching and you're thinking of buying the tool, then please use the affiliate link that I've popped down below as that will really help me out and it won't cost you any more. And if you're not quite ready to buy, but you still want to find out more about keyword research, then watch this video of mine next, where I show you my entire keyword research process, as well as two examples. Guys, thank you very much for watching and good luck with your projects.